Hello everybody, welcome to What About The Game. So, Nintendo has recently announced that there will be uh, another Nintendo Direct fairly soon, finally. So, with all the anticipation and hype for that, I just wanted to tell you some of my predictions for what we could see. Now, to start with, uh, something that will, I think almost will certainly be there, is just some updates on already announced games. So, you know, we have Mario Tennis, the Animal Crossing Amiibo crap and the Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think there'll be some updates and you know some trailers for that just to give them the, the final push uh, before their release because that's fairly soon. I think all three of those are really, really soon. Um, yeah, before I get into some of the more um, speculative ones, I just want to tell you what I think will not be in the direct. So we recently got um, the Super Mario Maker update with the checkpoints and things like that. So I don't think we will see anything uh, new, like any new DLC or updates for that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, maybe they will say something like, oh look, yes, we've just released this update, look forward to some more in the future. I think that's as far as, they, uh, as, far as they'll go. I don't think they will actually show anything new. I think it's too soon for that. And yeah, I don't think they will talk about their their mobile games. I don't think they will talk about Mitomo, which was, I think they announced that last week. I don't know. Days go by so quickly. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll say anything about that. The reaction to that game, to that game, game, initially was very poor, like this. I think their stock market value like crashed almost. Um, so yeah, I don't think they'll talk about that just yet. They'll probably give it a while before they talk more about that. Um, especially for Western audiences. And also, for some reason, um, Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to that game, but for some reason, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just, I, I have a feeling they will just forget about it, for just for this direct, you know? They did that for, they did that many times before. Like, it's, <laughs> they, they announced it, and it's quiet, and then they, ooh, a new trailer, and then quiet. You know, I think, that's going to be released like probably next year, so uh, I don't think they'll they'll say anything about that at all. Like some things that I think could be there or that I, I want to be there. Now to start with, um, I'll start with the Star Fox because it's kind of like a boring uh, prediction. Yeah, I, I I really I really want Star Fox. I'm really looking forward to it, but I think uh, the release date. I think I think they will tell us the release date. Um, I'm predicting March for some reason. I just have a feeling like late March. I have no idea why, but just my feeling. I think March. Um, some more interesting things that everybody loves, Smash DLC. I really think they will announce uh, the next character, characters, please, um, and maybe stages and things like that. Um, I hope, I don't know why, I really want a big update to the uh, the, the stage creator. I would love that, because I, I really like playing along, playing with that. I, I would really like it if they updated it to make it much more, um, uh, how to say, you know, you could just do more things with it. I just hope you could do more things with it. Um, so yeah, I think there'll be um, an update for Smash. And for characters, well, since Star Fox was really uh, was delayed, I think Wolf was planned for a reveal in this one. Uh, but since it's been delayed, I think they'll hold back on Wolf until closer to uh, Star Fox's release. You know, just to hype the game up. So I think this one is hard to say. Maybe it could be um, an unsuspecting returning character. You know, like. Pichu. No, I want Pichu, but you know, maybe, um, maybe Young Link, I don't know, for, who knows? I, I really want it to be a new character, but I think it's just too, maybe too early for that. I don't know. Uh, I really want Isaac. If you've watched my videos, you know, I, I really want Isaac as my, as, as my character in the game. Uh, or Malo from Pushmo, but you know, he's just a very, a uh, very distant dream. <laughs> Yeah, also, I think there might be a, a Splatoon update. You know, they've been updating Splatoon for, uh, like, every week, I think. 
uh, with new weapons and things. But I think there'll be like a big update, you know, like a big chunk of a big chunk of free DLC, like a new game mode, uh, a few new uh, stages and some weapons. And maybe I heard rumors of like the Octolinks or something. Octolinks. I I haven't played Splatoon uh, that much recently, unfortunately. You know, I'd love to play it. I just you know I I don't find the time really. Yeah, so Splatoon update, Smash DLC, Star Fox release. Um, I think there will be some. I want to say new game announcements, new games that we've not heard before. But uh, knowing that the internet likes to ruin everything for everybody, uh, I think one of the new games will be Twilight Princess HD. You know, I think this was supposed to be their big reveal, da da. But everybody already knows about it, so that's going to be quite a letdown. I think that was supposed to be like the peak um, of the of the direct. But you know, I I think the evidence is really strong for it. Um, I would really love to play Twilight Princess again um, in you know better detail in HD. Um, and if they update it, I'd really like them to you know just make some tweaks to it just to make it a more lively experience. You know, because I really enjoyed playing it on the Wii, uh, when when it first got got the Wii. Uh, I think it was the first game I played, actually. So, yeah, I would... I'd love to play through it again. You know, I played through it once, I completed it, I enjoyed it. I'd like to do it again, actually. Uh, and another new new game reveal. Um, I, I, I struggle to remember when, but in a Eurogamer interview with Shigeru Miyamoto at E3, I think it was E3. Oh, it might have been... No, no it was during um, Super Mario Maker's publicity, um, I think. Miyamoto basically said... Maybe it was Miyamoto. Maybe it was somebody from Nintendo. They basically said, Pikmin 4 is basically finished. That was a few months ago. So if it's basically finished a few months ago, right now, it must be ready to release. It must be almost ready to go. They're probably just waiting for the right time, you know? Um, uh, this Christmas, they've got Mario Tennis, Animal Crossing, Xenoblade X, you know, not not the greatest lineup ever, but it's a lineup. They, if they have another game in there, then, you know, two of those are gonna get lost in the pile. You know, obviously Xenoblade and um, Pikmin 4 will be much more well-received and maybe Mario Tennis and Animal Crossing will just fade away, and they probably don't want that, so they might be just waiting until after Christmas uh, to release Pikmin 4, and I think January. Don't know why, I'm just saying January will be Pikmin 4. It's finished, just give it to us, okay? And I'm, I still need to play through Pikmin 3, I have it, I played like an hour of it, um, but like I said, I don't have time. I review games, the only games that I play are the ones that I review. And occasionally I play Smash, Mario Maker, and, uh, well, Tekken. I downloaded that. Um, yeah, so I think, I think Pikmin 4 will be the, the other new reveal. About Zelda Wii U, I don't think there will be anything too much. I think there might be another, like a, like a teaser trailer, like a 20 second teaser. Not telling us anything about the game, just just hypes us up, just, it, it probably look, looks gorgeous, and we'll know nothing more unless Game Explain do their analysis, um, but yeah, I think I think they'll end the, the direct with just a short teaser of Zelda Wii U. Um, onto the 3DS, you know, the 3DS, I love the 3DS, but uh, I've got to admit I haven't played it in a while. Um, and the games that I do play are all old games. You know, I play Smash occasionally on 3DS and Theatre Rhythm, you know, of course. That's practically the only game that I need now. So I haven't really been keeping up to date with uh, 3DS releases, but to me, it seems that the 3DS is kind of on the wind down. Because, I mean, there's been like first party titles with um, Triforce Heroes and Happy Home Designer and Chibi Robo. Uh, but, you know, they've been sort of, you know, they've not exactly been uh, usually like hype titles, they've just sort of been like released, like, there you go. Um, so yeah, it seems like the 3DS is kind of in its twilight, I guess. But, you know, there's still some games to talk about. I think uh, Monster Hunter Cross or X, 
I don't think that's been released yet, I don't know. <laughs> but they'll probably talk about that if it hasn't. Um, like a Western, uh, Western release date or just an update on it. And there's that style boutique game, Savvy Style, Style, something. They'll probably talk about that because I think that was kind of a, a, a decent, quiet success for them, you know, for for ladies, for the girls and things like that. So I think they'll talk about that a little. If maybe it's been, I don't know if that's been released yet, to be honest. Ugh. Oh yeah, and the one that I'm actually looking forward to and the game that will definitely make me get my 3DS and just play it <laughs> non-stop, uh, Fire Emblem Fates. I'm pretty sure that, you know, I, they, I, think they, I think they must talk about it. I don't know if they'll do a release date, maybe they'll do a release window, like Q1 2016 or something. Um, and in the European Directs they'll announce that it's in one cartridge, yes! And then in America they'll announce it's in two cartridges, no! But, yeah. I, I hope America gets it in one cartridge, and I... If Europe doesn't get it in one cartridge, I'll be devastated because all the, the hints, it's, it's always been hinting at a single release and I've got it in my head that it is now a single release. If they say otherwise, I'm going to be crushed. I don't like paying for two things, but anyway, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I can think of uh, for now. Uh, the Ni Nintendo Direct is 10pm UK time, which for me... Uh, in China, I think that's 6 a.m. <laughs> or 7, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, off the top of my head. I don't know because I'm always asleep at that time. So I'll be waking up at an ungodly hour to to watch the direct. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. Um, and I'll let you know my thoughts about, you know, what I think about it overall. I'll give it a score out of 10, maybe. I don't really do scores, but maybe I'll just save it for direct. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. Really help me out so much if you do. Uh, and check out my website, uh, whataboutthegame.com. And you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, the links are down there somewhere, probably. Okay, thanks guys.